Hey guys, Rolando from Red Moto. Today we're going to be working on a 2012 Buick LaCrosse side view mirror removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification, and also hit that like button. Uh, if you guys need this mirror for your vehicle, go to redmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. That's where you can buy this mirror. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this mirror right here is pretty easy to take off. All you need is a 10 millimeter right there. Uh, also, if you guys are looking at this fender right here and you're wondering to yourself, hey man, I need to get that fender off my vehicle because my, my fender is also damaged. Well, you can go ahead and look at that video that we did on this particular vehicle up on the link below, uh, on the link above right here. So let's go ahead and get started on this uh, side view mirror removal. So go ahead and open the door. Alright, so this side view mirror right here, you're going to go ahead and take off this cover right here. So it's going to be a triangle shaped cover and it goes all the way around. So you're not going to pull it all the way off because it's going to be really easy for you guys to see where the, uh, the bolts are right here. Okay, so again, um, before I get started on this uh, removal, if you guys need this mirror right here, the link is up above. So you can go ahead and uh, press on that link and you guys can go ahead and directly order this mirror for your vehicle. So go ahead and take off this uh, cover right here. All you got to do is pull it. It's really easy. You hear a snap. And just continue on. So again, you don't have to remove it all the way, but you can, you're going to see the, uh, the bolts right here. Okay, just for video purposes, I went ahead and took off that cover, but the bolts you're going to see is right here. Once you kind of loosen it up, you'll see it right here. One, two, and then there's a third one right here when you open up the door. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that taken off. Okay, so remember, I'm going to push it out a little bit, but for the most part, you're going to take off this... Uh, bolt right here it's gonna be a 10 millimeter don't unplug it yet because you don't want that side view mirror to fall on you so go ahead and unscrew it it's gonna be one of your bolts right there and another one right there and your third one is hiding right behind here go ahead and take that off all right so go ahead and uh, get your hand Hold the base of the mirror and then unplug it. Well, first, I gotta figure out how you unplug it. This one's a little tricky one. Okay, so to unplug this mirror right here, you're gonna have to push down on this little tab right here in the bottom. So push down this tab right here, and then it'll come off of this little, uh, I guess, little tab or holder right here. So again, let me demonstrate that. So put your fingernail right here or something uh, something flat like a flathead and you want to slide down. Okay, so let me do it like this. And then it comes off. Then you can go ahead and wiggle this mirror. And it should just come off like that. All right. So from this angle, what I was what I was doing was I was holding it by one hand, and then I was just wiggling it, and then it comes off. So you gotta actually pry it off a little bit because there's this tab right here that kind of holds it on there. And then also this little flap right here goes over it, so that's why it's holding it down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into place. So now you gotta remember this tab right here. This one's kind of worn out, but this tab right here needs to go inside this hole while simultaneously putting it underneath this little uh, class, this uh, weather stripping. So guide into that hole. So once you see it, once you see it, go ahead and kind of go underneath. So now you got that, and then it should snap into place. So you should hear a click. And that should snap into place. So remember, there's a weather stripping right here. Put the mirror underneath and also making sure that you have it lined up with that little hole with that uh, plastic white piece and it goes into that hole and then snap it into place. So once you have it snapped into place, go ahead and open that door. 
try to reach around and plug it in. So just in case that this thing comes on loose and it falls down, it doesn't go all the way down because now you have it plugged in. So now you can go ahead and go back to the other side. So remember, it's plugged in now. Now all you gotta do is Hand tighten it first. Okay, so now turn on the car before you put everything back together. And just check if all the mirror functions work. So, this one has the left turn signal. See, that one's working. And then we're gonna go left. I'm gonna go up and down. Up is working. Down is working. Left and right is working. All right, so all the functions work on this mirror. We're good to go. Turn off that car. And then let's put it all back into place. So now don't use a uh, impact gun. I know you're gonna have the tendency, you wanna make it go faster. You're really just creating more problems for yourself. Because again, these things are held on by a plastic uh, base. And if you tighten it too much, it can actually break that uh, I guess like stud and then the mirror is going to be useless to you. So just hand tighten it, you know, when, or hand tighten it with this um, wrench right here. So when you see it grip like that or you feel it grip, you don't see it. You feel it grip and go ahead and tighten it just a little bit. That's all you need. Go right here, same thing. There you go. And one, last but not least, go ahead and go this one. All right, there we go. So that's good to go. Put that piece back on. If you didn't take it off like recommended, you should be able to just go and snap into place. So, since I took it all the way off, I'm gonna have a little bit of a harder time here. So I have to insert this in the bottom right here. Just like that. That's why you don't want to take it all the way off because there's no need to take it all the way off. But just for video purposes, I went ahead and did that. So once it's back in place, you're going to hear a snap. So make sure this piece right here goes underneath the weather stripping. So if you guys want to see me wrestle with this one because I took it all the way off. So basically, if you did take it all the way off, you got to line it up with these pieces this in here uh. so remember this thing goes underneath the weather stripping like that and just tap it into place and you hear it click and then you can kind of tug on it and you can feel like it's not coming off. So again, there we go. This one's good to go. Tug on it, see if it feels like it's falling off. If it does it, you're good to go. All right guys, so thank you for watching. This is gonna be a 2012 Buick LaCrosse side view mirror removal and installation. Thank you. Hey guys, I do wanna thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, we go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, tail lights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.